Right now I can already tell the energy has shifted. I wanted to talk a little today about this is going to be an energy update for 11 9 So I I wanted to bring some sort of comfort um I wanted to bring a message of comfort um, to the ones who happen to listen to this audio recording. So right now, um, energetically speaking, I feel that um, as far as the president the presidential election goes, I feel that Donald Trump is the artificial son and Hillary Hillary Clinton is the artificial moon. And right now, we are all feeling the energy from the artificial sun. This, this may not feel like it right now, but I think in the future, people are going to start respecting one, an, one another more. They're going to start respecting each other more as time goes on. Because uh, wholly as a consciousness, we all want the same thing. And that's equality for all, for all peoples. So. So I think right now, all of us as a unity consciousness are feeling some kind of warmth it may not seem like it right now but us as a people we we need to bring about the change them uh, ourselves we can't just wait around for a president to do it for us we have to energetically we have to bring about the change within us for ourselves. <clears throat> so right now I feel that there is a slight shift in energy And right now, the human consciousness as a whole is, we're, we're computing right now. We're, we're trying to register the data. So this, this is a new energy that's being, um, that's coming forth right about now. And this is this is simply just what I I feel. Um, this is not me. Um, this is not me saying I prefer one over the other. This is just simply a an energy exchange. So, it, it all depends on what the people make out of this. And we, we, can't, we can't have any fear in our heart about anything that is to come about the future because the only thing, the only thing that matters now is the present, is the present time.
we we have to be we have to be stable within ourselves and we can't let the negative energy overwhelm us right now because there's no time for that There's only time for the change that we have to bring about ourselves. We can't we can't wait around for it. Even though I know that we have no power over the hierarchy uh, system. We're, we are the ones that truly know ourselves deep inside. And the only way to, to bring true happiness is to go within yourself and to find your own truth. And people who hear my messages may be asking, well... Sinopa, why, why are you putting all of your energy into something you can't see? And the answer is simply, I, I wish it to be there because it makes me happy. So why, why give your energy to something that is not a part of you? Truly, it's not. It's not a part of your heart frequency. So that's why... That's why I... I allow my unseen realm to be there. Because it makes me happy. So... In order to find true happiness... It really starts with you. Because... If you can find your inner truth, then you'll always walk with grace and to always be in that spiritual acceptance and you, and you will always be in balance because there there's there's nothing else that can physically move you emotionally or spiritually move you. Um, unless, unless it's with, unless it's truly within your heart. So, with this whole thing going on right now, it's not, it's not really a part of you, really. <clears throat> it's a part of the matrix, but. You, you have to be the only one to really try and stabilize your frequency, your emotion, toward whatever may be showing in the matrix, whatever may be projecting out to you in, in the matrix. You, you have to... You have to give out a certain frequency that will benefit you and you only. While, while affecting the other beings. Us as a whole, which is, which is one thing. We have to resonate our frequency with being in wholeness now because that's that's all that really matters so whatever you project out to others you have to feel within your heart is that whatever emotion you may you may be projecting would you want to feel that yourself so i think 
I think in the future, people will start having um, more of a shift of frequency of having more respect for one another if if that being truly wants to project out their their love frequency to another person but if that person does not want to project love frequency then that being that human being will simply stay in 3D And the ones who will rise above the only truth, and the only truth is love and death, those who project that will rise with the earth. Yes, there, there is a new energy that is coming forth right now because the people's consciousness has, has shifted and we're all computing this data right now in, in, in the matrix. So the ones with the highest heart frequency will, will be the most high and we'll rise above all the rest. Thanks for listening.